everyone, and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. Today, we will be covering 2008-17 AMC 10A number 15. And, uh, this is a geometric probability problem. Someone requested it, um, one of our subscribers, so we're deciding to do it. And if you want to uh, request any problems to do, then please don't hesitate to ask us over our email, which is onthespotstem at gmail.com, or on a YouTube comment on one of our previous videos. So, the problem reads, Poly chooses, chooses a real number uniformly at random from the interval 0 to 2017. Independently, Lawrence chooses a real number uniformly at random from the interval 0 4034. What is the probability that Lawrence's number is greater than Chloe's number? Assume they cannot be equal. So, um, we see that we have infinite possibilities here. Chloe can choose a number, any number from the interval 0 to 2017. It doesn't have to be an integer, it can be rational, it can be irrational, it can be whatever. And then, Lauren does the same thing from a larger integral. And we want to find the probability that Lauren's number is going to be number. So, um, since we have infinite possibilities, we can't really do um, any sort of casework. But we have to somehow find a region, a probability region, where Lauren's number is greater than Chloe's number, and then find that region over the area of the whole region. So what I'm talking about is, suppose we had this sort of rectangle. Actually, I'll, I'll make the rectangle uh, blue and red. So essentially, Laurent chooses a number from 0 to 2017, and she can pick any number along this line, and that will be your number. Now, or Chloe, this is, sorry, Chloe, this is Chloe. She picks a number from 0 to 2017. And now, uh, Laurent picks a number from 0 to 4034. And it can be any number in this red range, and this will be Laurent's number. So, we have this sort of, um, axes, and we can sort of complete this, just so that our calculations will be easier. And so, uh, what we see here is that if you pick any point along this sort of grid, if you pick any point here, this part, the x part will be Chloe's number, and the y part will be Laurent's number. So we essentially created an xy coordinate system where we can now do our calculation. Remember, since there are infinite possibilities, we want to find probability regions, not just a, a count of the numbers. So, if Laurent's number is greater than Chloe's number, so we know that the y-axis is Laurent, and the x-axis is Chloe, so then we need y greater than x. Or, if you know this line, then you'll see that it looks somewhat like this. This is the equation of y equals x. This graph is into scale, but this should be about 2017. And y greater than x corresponds to the region over here. So essentially, if we pick any point in this region, we already know that we get the x by just finding the x-coordinate, and we get the y by finding the y-coordinate, and any point in this region will now satisfy the second condition that y is greater than x. So all we have to do is find the area of the shaded region, shaded region, over the area of the total region. Well, what is the area of the shaded region? We see that it's just a right, it's just a trapezoid, not a triangle. So there, it has the two bases of length 2017, and then 4034, and then it has um, essentially a height of uh, 2017. And so the area of the trapezoid is equal to 2017 b1 plus b2, which is 2017 plus 4034 times the height, uh, which is equal to 2017, all over 2. All over 2. And if we repeat for um, the whole region, we see that the whole region is a rectangle, and so the whole region is simply equal to the rectangle, which is 2017 times 4034. Now, this answer will be our correct answer, so we just have to simplify some things. There's a factor of 2017 in both the numerator and denominator, so we can cancel them out. And if we get that, this is equal to 2017 plus 4034 
divided by 4,034, 2. Uh, this is equal to 6,051 over 8,068. And that simplifies into 3 4. So the area of the shaded region over the area of the whole thing is equal to 3 4. We see that corresponds to answer choice C, and we're done. So to recap, what we did was we noticed that there were infinite possibilities. So we have to find probability regions and find the ratio of, of areas instead of ratio of counts. So we just did that. Our condition was relatively simple. So we just graphed that. We found our uh, desired region. We divided by the total and we got our answer. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please don't hesitate to subscribe and share with your friends. Uh, if you want us to do a problem, then please let us know in the comments down below. Or you can send us the problem through our Gmail, which is again, on the spot, stand at gmail.com. Thank you.